Baby Peggy Gets Big Welcome Home. Back at studio, ready to begin on Principal Pictures' contract. Exhibitor's Trade Review, December 8th, 1923. Baby Peggy returned to Los Angeles after having had the time of her life on her visit to New York and other large eastern cities. She will immediately begin work on the first of a series of photoplays for Principal Pictures Corporation. The first story is now being decided upon, and announcement of same will be forthcoming in the very near future. While in the East, Baby Peggy, her parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jack Montgomery, and her sister Louise were guests of Principal Pictures Corporation. Their trip was a success from every angle. The New York newspaper folks and magazine writers had the opportunity of personally meeting the starlet and of becoming intimately acquainted with her. She met thousands of children wherever she went, and was made an honest-to-goodness Indian princess of the Flathead tribe of Montana. Baby Peggy also celebrated her fifth birthday while in New York, and was tendered an elaborate luncheon at Hotel Biltmore. According to Sol Lester, president of Principal Pictures, the little star will make three or four feature productions a year, she has a three-year agreement with the picture organization. In speaking of the contract entered into between Baby Peggy and Principal Pictures Corporation, Lester stated that the rumors of a fabulous salary paid the little actress for her camera services were entirely unfounded. It has been reported, said the film executive, that Baby Peggy is to receive a million dollars or more a year. This is absolutely untrue, could never be possible. No motion picture organization can afford to pay a star, irrespective of who he or she may be, a sum of money as large as that. The motion picture industry must be conducted on strict business principles. This talk of stars receiving millions of dollars is absurd, and the sooner this sort of propaganda is stopped, the better for all concerned. It not only hurts the industry in general, but is detrimental to the artists as well.